Hello and welcome to 5 minutes about ADHD and autism. Now I, I will uh, spend the next 5 minutes about um, having a low working memory. You can have a, a great memory and you can um, remember all kinds of details when you have ADHD and autism. And yet it is very very difficult to, to have a working memory. The working memory is what you use when you decide to do something. If I decide to, to go and brush my teeth, my working memory is, is making the plan what to do in my head. I had to raise up, I had to go to the bathroom, I had to uh, put water in the cup, I had to find the toothpaste, I had to put it on. All that uh, planning is, is done in my working memory. Lots of people with ADHD almost have no working memory and many of them is having a very high IQ and that makes it very difficult up here because you know everything, you know exactly what to do, you know exactly how to, how to solve the, the problem you are standing in or the teacher is giving you some, something to do and you know exactly how to do it but your working memory is so bad that you can't do it. You, you don't know uh, where's the pencil, where's the paper, where am I supposed to start. It just, it's just all messing up in your head because this working memory is so, so low. Um, and uh, a lot of people with stress uh, is having the same, maybe just for a short uh, while. I have had it once. Uh, I've had um, uh, stress in my life for about three months and I couldn't remember anything and I, I was standing in the kitchen with with my brush in my ha hand and was wondering what I was what what would I do with it out in the kitchen or I put my shoes in the fridge or whatever because I, I didn't have I didn't have um, my brain couldn't make any working memory because I was so stressed that's the reason why many people with autism is experience the same though they actually have a great um, memory working memory then they have a lot of stress thinking what am i supposed to do what am i supposed to say what did they expect why did they do this to me and all that it makes the brain working so fast that it cannot make these plans when you have a low uh, working memory you have you have you you um you will often uh, try this some people are saying, why didn't you do it when I told you to? And the, the only proper answer would be, I have no idea. I don't know. But didn't you hear I told you to do it? Yes. Then why didn't you do it? I don't know. And this is not to be rude. It's just the fact. The brain didn't make any plan how to do it. And um, I'm a teacher. And... and um, I had to plan my 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 way of teaching so that I can compensate for those children who, who has no working memory. I had to make plans on the blackboard. Uh, show them first you do this, second you do this, third you do this, because then they can actually do it. And every time the brain just <laughs> locked down, they can read the next step on the wall. And this is very important knowledge. If you want, if you want your family to work a little bit better, or you want your classroom to work a little bit better, then you have to compensate for this missing um, working memory or low working memory. You can, you might experience that it works sometimes. Sometimes you say, "Go and brush your teeth," and the boy says, "Yes," and everything is working. The next day you try the same, and nothing is working because. This day, the boy is thinking about next weekend and the football uh, game or uh, the, the new uh, PlayStation game or whatever it is. Um, so if you, if you decide that it should be easy to be this boy or this girl in your class or your family or wherever it is, then compensate for this low working memory and you will see so many great things happen because the first time my son, I have two sons with ADHD and autism, the first time he had such a plan for what to do, 
he came out and said, did I just do all this by myself? And we could say, yes, you did it all by yourself. And it means so much for everybody, all kind of human, to, to know that they can do something by themselves. Not always having that mother sh uh, yelling uh, through the house, have you uh, put on your trousers? Have you eaten your breakfast? Have you taken your pills? I did that all the time before we make those plans in our family. And it it's fantastic. So um, from my heart to you, please try it. <laughs>